What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kev Ozilla and I'm back with another Cronus Zen video. In this video, I'm going to be finally going over and covering the Apex Legends Pro Game Pack called the Essentials. Just like we got the Essentials Pro Game Pack for Warzone with simple mods ready to go. You just set it and forget it. Now, you guys already know how I feel about Pro Game Packs, you know, over the Community Game Packs. They're just better in my opinion. Nothing against the people who make these um, Community Game Packs who's part of the community. Nothing personal, nothing at all whatsoever. It's just... I personally prefer pro game packs to me. They're a lot easier and smoother and just easier to get going, you know, easy to set up and you're good to go. But anyway, without further ado, dragged and dropped it down here. The Apex Legends Essentials Pro Game Pack. Boom, my fourth slot going in. Now, you guys already know. You guys already know. Match all your settings. So every time it says matching game, please match this game pack, all these settings with the same way you play in game. So you have to go into your options, you know, your settings and Go through each one and just copy and paste. Make sure you, you're following along with your same settings with this game pack, right? Now, especially when it comes to sensitivity, I'm playing at a four, right? I'm playing at a four four for Apex Legends. Now, I barely play this game. I don't play too much. I just make my videos, you know, as tutorial purposes for you guys to follow and understand the game packs. But if you play like three, five, whatever, you can still try out my, you know, my settings and my my results and see if you get a beam or whatever have you. Chances are, if you don't. Is because of your sensitivity or any other in-game setting that's not matched to mine. Then in that case, you can still follow along, but you have to adjust to get your own values. Now I know when it comes to the Warzone um, game pack, sometimes you guys still copy and paste my um, my results and my settings, and sometimes it's a W. Sometimes you guys say, "Yo, I use the same exact settings, and it's a beam, just like you show in your videos." Then sometimes it's not. When it when it isn't, that's because you got to match and you know and. And do your own settings. So match your own settings with the game pack and do your own testing. But you can still follow along with the video, right? It's the same way. The same way I test and get my results and get my values. The same way for everybody. For everybody. <laughs> Feature legend Bloodhound. Um, I'm leaving standard default everything. So it was right on Bloodhound. I guess here just just select your favorite um your favorite legend, your go-to, all right, your main. Aim assist enabled. Leave it at 15. Do not touch this number for the love of God. Just leave it at 15. Trust me. Leave it at 15. That's what Collective Minds, you know, do already testing. And they said they recommend leaving it at 15. Trust me. Avoid the headaches. Anti-recall mode. ADS anti-recall quick edit. Block rumbles. Uh, to each their own. If you like rumbles, rumbles on. Simple. If you don't like them, off. Hair triggers. Both triggers. All right? Both triggers. You guys already know what hair triggers are. Weapon swap mode. Automatic. I'll explain automatic stuff like that. But pretty much automatic is just like in the other game packs. Warzone game packs and stuff like that. With this game pack, you get two... Weapon profiles, right? And I already set the R301 here. By the way, I'm going to be covering the R301 in today's video, right? Only one gun, right? The updated R301. But you get two weapon profiles, green and red. So green indicated primary, you can see it. And then your secondary is going to be red. Now, what well, automatic weapon swap is just when you press triangle, it's going to automatically swap weapons along with the values you, you set for those um, weapon profiles, right? So for the secondary, I'm not going over. I'm just leaving it regular fire. And once you open up the gamepad, you're going to see that these two values for both is going to be at 125 and at 15. So it's going to be 125 for horizontal. Well, vertical is usually first. But anyway, it's going to be 125 for horizontal and the vertical is going to be 115, right? So vertical, you already know it's up and down. Horizontal is going to be left and right, right? I don't know why they don't have this on top of this. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Same thing. You guys already know what vertical horizontal is, right? Again, you're going to be leaving this standard default, everything. And going over to R301. I'm going to be testing the R301 straight with no optic, with no attachments, nothing. These numbers should make it a beam regardless, shooting at a bot. But then we're going to get different values. You're always going to get different values when it comes to Apex Legends when throwing under two times. All right, so two different values. This is one value right here. You're going to be trying it out, hopefully as a beam. And then going to be testing it out with the two times and see what value we get. Normally, with Apex Legends weapons, um, you tend to not have like little to no um, horizontal recoil. But definitely vertical recoil. So definitely it could either go up or down. But we're going to be testing anyway. I'm going to be jumping into um the firing range and testing, right? So set everything up as you see right here. But up here, just match all your settings, right? And you can follow along with the video. Close. Click this little play button right here to program device. Let it save. And then hop into a firing range with me. Let's go. All right, you guys. Now that I'm here, I got the R301 in my hand. Just, just taking enough ammo. Now I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to show you how to get into the game pack, and then I'm going to do all the testing and getting you guys the value for the R301, okay? So first things first, top right corner of your screen, R301. Just make sure you are on the, the exact Apex Legends Essentials Pro game pack. By pressing this blue button on the right side right here, I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Just keep pressing it, you know, eventually until you get to the game pack. Now, the primary weapon should be showing, in my case, is the R301. The 
The way you go about going into the game pack settings and stuff straight from the Zen, you press the whole touchpad and press options. Boom. Then all your settings that shows you in the beginning that you got anti recall, you can enable and disable anything you wish. The aim assist, anti recall, stuff like that, block game or hand trigger. So this is where you enable and disable everything. All right. To get your values start adjusting, you want to head over to uh, your active primary weapon, which is the R301, pressing X on it. Now you got the X and the Y right here. So it shows the X first and then it shows the Y. So obviously, you know, horizontal vertical. See? So I left everything the same way it was. A 125 and then a 115. See that? Now leaving that, um, leaving those values and just testing out this weapon just straight off the rip with no, with no optic, no anything. All right? Check it. It should be a beam leaving everything at standard default. All right? Without adjusting no values. Check it out. See? So regardless of what, just setting the weapon is going to be a beam. Now, obviously, if you're shooting at a target, or whatever, or even the bot, and once the bot is is despawns and is dead, you're gonna see that I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue holding R2, and you're gonna see my gun just pull straight down. That's because the anti recoil, and you know it's not the bot's not there anymore. The enemy's not there. So check it out. It's gonna be a beam, and once he's dead, you see it pull down. Don't worry, that's normal. That happens. It's gonna pull down. But shooting at a wall is completely different. See, it's just pulling down regardless. See, but at a distance shooting at an enemy is going to be a beam nonetheless. You see that? You see that? No matter how far you are, still going to be a beam regardless. See? Still going to be, you know, weapon sway is still going to be bouncing around, but it's still going to be a beam nonetheless. Now, here's the big difference. Throwing on, let me run over here, throwing on a, uh, a two times scope. Let me go right here. Get some more ammo. All right, throwing on two times, see right here, the optic, the one time, two times now, boom. This is where things get a bit tricky. Now, I'm bringing you guys both values. Now, obviously, the first one, just set the gun and you're good to go, 125 and 115. I didn't change anything. You already saw it, right? So, made no, no adjustments. That's bare minimum with the weapon with no attachments. Now, since I threw this on, even at a one times, it's still going to be a beam. Same thing like the iron sight. Same thing like like using the gun without no without no sight. See that? Still gonna be a beam regardless. But now check this out. Check this out. And you guys should already know all my OGs. It's the same thing even with the other Apex um Legends game pack. Check this out. See that? It was going up. It's bringing the gun up. So from the belly, check this out. See that? It's completely different. Now you're gonna have to adjust, right? And I mean for like every weapon. It's gonna like it's gonna be like that. So the way you go about Again, you see where the gun is going, where it pulls. So it's just pulling up, right? Now, getting into the game pack, press the old touchpad, options, primary weapon, press X on that. All right, now this is this is the X. We're not touching that, all right? This is the horizontal. We're not touching that. Press R1 again, the Y. This is what we want to change. All right, we want to bring this gun to the right. It's on 115. We're going to want to bring it to the right to pull the gun down a bit, okay? Let's say we go to, let's say, uh... I don't want to go too much. Let's say at 135, right? On 135, press circle, circle, and save. Now let's test. Sometimes you're going to be wrong. Sometimes you're going to be right. This is the point of hopping in here and getting your values and doing your testing, right? Right at the belly. Check it out. That looked a lot better, right? Compared to the first time where it was going up. Test again. It still goes up a little bit, but it looked a lot better than before. Check it out. Yeah, it still goes up a little bit. So we got to adjust a bit more, a bit more numbers. So touchpad options, press X, primary weapon again, press R1, go over to the Y, 135. We're going to bring it a 140 this time. A 140, save, and don't don't move the right stick. So while you're aiming at them, don't move no sticks at all. Just make sure make sure it's on them right here and just, just empty the whole mag. Wait, let me kill them first. You want to empty the whole mag on them. Yep, there we go. Perfect. If it stays centered and every every bullet lands, look at that. Good to go. Perfect. You always want to, you know, you always want to adjust and test multiple times. Don't just like test one time, think you got it, and then hop into a game. You want to really make sure. You want to really make sure. All right, right from the belly. Yeah, good to go. All right. That's perfect. Compared to before, I was just going straight up. Now, that what's going to make a difference is just the scope. It's just the optic, all right? It's just the two times, all right? But check this out. The value that I'm going to bring you guys right here for the two times, which is 
Again, well, 125 standard default, but for the Y, it's a 140. If you go and go back to a one times, it was going to happen. It's going to pull down, right? It's going to pull down. See that? Because we adjusted for the two times. So having a two times matters, right? That really makes a difference. That's why I'm bringing you guys both. Right? And you only need it to adjust the Y, okay? Because the Y is vertical, up and down. All right? So let's go back to the two times and check it. See? Still made it a beam, right? Made it a beam. Now here, I'm going to disable the game pack, right? So the way you disable it is touchpad is square. So touchpad is square is going to disable um, all weapon profiles. Touchpad triangle is going to bring you back to your primary, which is R301. And touchpad and circle is going to bring you to your secondary, which I left it on regular fire. All right, but let's go back. Let's go back to uh, turning it off. All right, at two times. This is the regular recoil. We're not no anti recoil applied, no weapon profile, no nothing. See, that shit just goes off. It goes straight up. All right, hey guys. So real quick, just want to show you guys this. You probably don't need to see this because I already showed you guys put it at 140. But right here, AR R301. We didn't touch this at all. The horizontal. See, the horizontal was first. We didn't touch that at all. No need to. Leave that at 125. But the vertical, which is the Y, at a 140. 140 is going to be for the two times, okay? Only for the two times. All right? 140 for the two times. And it was just regular default. Ooh, at a 115. This is for the, the base weapon, right? So leave it like this. As soon as you open the game pack, you should see both weapon profiles like this. 1, 2, 5, 15. 1, 2, 5, 15, right? But again, 140 for the two times. Or 140 for the two times. All right, that's it. Simple. Simple. If this video helped you out, you guys already know what to do. Smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe because I'm going to be bringing future videos on this game pack as well. The Essential Pro game pack going to be covering updated weapon values and stuff like that for different weapons. All right, you request them, I'll bring them. All right, peace out.